so we just did this in um, geometry. We're talking about lines, transversals, and angles, talking about the angle pair relationships and all that good stuff. So I just wanted to kind of quickly um, kind of revisit and talk through uh, some of what we did. So um, you'll notice these awesome names, and these are all uh, mathematicians from history. So Red lines are parallel, the blue lines are transversal, it intersects, it makes eight angles, and then you're given an angle and you need to uh, show an angle that you think is congruent. So it, it, everyone did that. And then as a class, um, it was asked, do we agree, yes or no? And I mean, some people, you know, clicked on random stuff, but this one I loved. This one was very detailed. So, you know, some people obviously put their dots in some weird places, but um, let's see if I can draw with this. So we have the original. It's not going to let me draw. I hope it lets me draw. Let me just find my mouse instead of my... It's not going to let me use my pen tools for some reason, so it's, it's going to be a little messier than, it wants, than I want it to be, but we got these two angles, that's vertical. We got these two angles here and here, that's uh, corresponding. And we got this one and this one, this one and this one with the long tails out, that's alternate exterior, so but beautiful and proper, uh, proper vocab there. I gotta go back to this. It says with Nimbus. I don't love it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Um. Let's keep moving. So I oh, gotta erase everything. So for this one, the goal was to show you know all the angles that are congruent. We got a vertical. We got a corresponding alternate exterior. Looks good, right? On this next one, new angle, angle B, and we got vertical here and here. We've got corresponding, alternate interior. So again, different relationships. Make sure you're jotting notes down. I know that I, uh, I'm not writing many of them down, but you can write, you can pause and rewind. Um, so let's take a look at the next part. So, you know, let's see, opposite angles are always equal. Um, the A and B angles are separate, so like they have different pairs, different relationships. So on this next part, we went through the different types, and this is why I want you guys to go through this and take good notes, because there are a lot of different types, a lot of different angles. you got to work them. Vertical angles, always congruent. We knew that. We know that. We know that. Um, Vertical angles. Hipparchus. One of these days I should study some of these people. Vertical angles, always can grow it. Easy peasy. Linear pair, linear pair. Can I? Heard of free tag for Todd. Um. So this linear pair, uh, this person wrote they're always congruent. I'm going to disagree because it's clearly not in the picture. These do make a supplementary uh, angle because they both add up to 180, and you can see that because they live on the red line. Um, now, they can sometimes be congruent if the transversal cuts it at a 90-degree angle. So same side interior. And same side interior. You can see that they're interior. They're enclosed by the parallel lines. They're trapped in between them. Uh, if you're looking at like a stock chart, this would be like a line of support and resistance. Um, and they could also be sometimes congruent based on if the transversal cuts at a 90 degree angle. Otherwise, they are... Um, let, me, let me not misspeak here. Yeah, so these are supplementary. So therefore... They would not be uh, congruent all the time. 
Let me get myself confused. Alternate interior, they're always congruent. This is one of those special relationships as Pythagoras will show us, hopefully. Uh, alternate interior, yep. See how they're on opposite sides of the transversal and they're on the inside. Alternate interior, they're always congruent. That's one of our special relationships. And that's in lesson four, two. Miriam Mirzarkhani. Same side exterior, always congruent. Wait. They should have put this over there. Same side exterior. So same side of the transversal, outside of the parallel lines. They are excluded from the inside. Okay. Alternate exterior. Um, always congruent. And alternate exterior, they are outside of the parallel lines, and they are on opposite sides of the transversal. Wait, what did I say in the last one? I feel like I misspoke now. I should not record videos at the end of the day. I really shouldn't. Um, my brain is just a little toast. So, yeah, these will not always be congruent. As you can clearly see, this is a cube. This is uh, up to. So it'll be sometimes. Sometimes on this one. My bad if I said something else. Corresponding, easy peasy, right? Always, 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 always. Um, always congruent. Bam, 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 bam. Beautiful. And let's see if we had any good summaries. I agree with this one. Like, this is a lot to juggle. So I would definitely recommend coming up with some good cheat sheets. I've been dropping in some images of some in these videos. So definitely take your time and do that. So lines, transversals, and angles, guys. Angle parallel shifts. It's a lot. Make sure you're studying it. I'll see you next time.